76 years after the Battle of Normandy, we travel with Normandy tour guide Florent Plana around the Normandy hedgerows to take several then and now comparison photographs. In this episode, we will be following the US 2nd Infantry Division near one of their bloodiest battles during their time in Normandy. Since landing on Omaha Beach on June 7, 1944, the division liberated Treviers and Cerisy La Forette on June 10th. It then tried to push further south to capture Hill 192 on June 12. However, this proved to be a much harder task than they hoped. Hill 192 was a very strategic position because it was the highest point in the sector, offering whoever held it long range observation for miles around. During a 5 day battle fighting German paratroopers, the division's 23rd regiment, consisting of around 1500 to 2000 men, captured the town of St. George Dell in an attempt to capture Hill 192. However, German defenses in the Normandy hedgerows were too strong and the attack failed. As a result, men of the 23rd Regiment stayed in static positions around St. George Dell from mid-June to July the 11th. Many photographs of the men were taken here in those days, and by taking then and now comparison photographs, we hope to form a direct link with the past as we explain the differences between 1944 and 2020. We just arrived in a very special place. Uh, it's a Saint Georges d'El. It's not very known, but we just closed from Hill 192. It's the, on the eastern part of Saint Lo. So the first shot I would like to take, Joey, is right there behind us. It's the Church of Saint Georges d'El. And uh, a picture was taken, actually, we'll go into the cemetery to, uh, to take the then and now shot. But you can see that the picture was taken in the back of the church. And you can easily recognize um, this part of the church right there. It's the one that you see in front of you. That's the local cemetery, French cemetery. And which is kind of uh, interesting, there are two things on those pictures. First of all, you see how damaged is the church and you see a massive hole, probably like a shell that hit the, the, the church directly uh, into that wall. The roof is pa you know, badly damaged, as you can see there are a lot of missing parts, a lot of holes. We see three soldiers in front of us and which is very interesting is that the one in the middle, you can see that he has the uh, 2nd Infantry Division patch, Indian head. I really would love to go inside the church uh, because actually I never been inside and I know that some pictures have been taken uh, inside the church with American troops and uh, cross the finger that we can go inside. And this is another picture that actually honestly I never like pay too much attention to it even if it's very disturbing it's a German foxhole as they said in the book German or American but at least you know we know it's a, a, a foxhole that was actually dug into the cemetery. Yeah, no, we don't we don't recognize any grave like that. White grave with that type of uh, shape. It's very, very small. Maybe it was a wooden, you know, uh, cross, so it could be gone now and replaced. So unfortunately, we'll never know. Unfortunately, the church doors were closed. Since many photographs were taken inside, we really wanted to try to take our then and now shots. The village was very quiet, so we had to do our very best to get a hold of the mayor or at least someone with the key to the church. Instead of waiting, we walked to the north side of the church where several pictures were taken. In the pictures are coming from here. So you see, they were facing that street like that. And you can see that one is in the middle of the street and the others, they're just going that way. So they they're, have their backpack like that. They're walking that way. It was taken from here. 
you see the wall and you see one, two, three, four, five American troops with their like uh, equipment, you know, like they're holding like a big bag. Yeah, and they're coming from that direction because you can see that one is walking here, crossing the road and walking here. Uh, you see that the side of that wall, you see, we can recognize uh, the church and it's completely open because it's destroyed. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very cool picture. Another photograph of a group of men was taken further down the road in the direction of where the men in the previous photo were going. However, they are probably from a different group as they have no sandbags and they are walking on a field in southern direction to this farm on the northern side of the church. After taking a quick then and now photograph, we decided to walk back to the church. Hopefully, there was someone that could let us inside. Explain what just happened. It's so exciting, bro, because that lady from the mairie, she didn't know where the keys were and she called the mayor and the mayor said, oh, you can let them go. So we so they just opened the door and the church is just for us. It's so exciting. So we can close the door and we're gonna be able to take those then and now shots. It's super exciting. Let's go. Oh, look, I didn't know there are monuments. To the memory of um, 3rd Battalion, 23rd Infantry Regiment of the 2nd Infantry Division, who fought here at Saint-Georges in June of 1944. It was given by, the, by someone, by the mayor. Unfortunately, I was expecting uh, that the church would be less uh, chanted. I didn't know that, uh, that I, I mean, I, I kind of knew that the, the, the church was badly destroyed, but it really changed, right? I'm just wondering if there are one or two elements that might be the same. Yep. Look at that. You see Mary? She's right there. That's her. Same statue. You can recognize the, the dress. And the fact she has the head down and the hands like that. That's amazing. So this, this is one of the elements, I presume, and I'm pretty sure about it, that was here in 1944, the Statue of Mary. But yeah, that's her. That's amazing. Okay, that's interesting. If you look at that, it's, it's original. You see, it's starting to angle like that, and after what, it's, it's destroyed here. And the roof here is open, so there was some, you know, shell that actually fell on the church. And all oh, and those plaques you see on the right and left, they're already here on the wall. That's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. In all of our excitement, we completely forgot to take a then and now shot of this photograph. Hopefully, the other two photographs make up for it. Being able to take these then and now shots inside this church was truly incredible. There were two other pictures that were taken from the church steeple. Unfortunately, we were not able to access it. Nevertheless, we were still able to stand on the exact spot to where the camera in this photograph was pointing to in 1944. A picture was taken from the, the church steeple. And you can see a grave I mean, a, a, a stone, that's this one, you see? Yeah. And on the left part, you see a wounded soldier on a stretcher barrier, you see? Mm -hmm. Or maybe he's killed, wounded, I don't know. But it's, it's really here. You see the soldier is laying right there in front of us on the side of, the, of that uh, massive gravestone. And you can see in the picture from 1944, 
that there are two trees already at the entrance of the of the cemetery. I would not be surprised if there are like many pieces of shrapnel, you know, pieces of shrapnel in the trees. So, talking about those trees, a picture was taken right here. That's amazing because almost all the elements that you see on the picture are right here. You can recognize one stone, two, I mean one cross, two cross, three cross, four, five, six. You can see the cross in the, in, in the middle of the entrance. You can recognize that uh, stone wall right there on the left. You can recognize those right here on the right. That was not here. No, that was already here. That's crazy. That's amazing. <laughs> you can see that on the picture. That's so funny. That's on the picture. Everything like this picture is actually quite unique because all those elements were already here in 1944. You can recognize that, you know, vase. Uh, the stone is exactly the same. You can recognize the cross in the back, the wall stone, the cross in the middle of the entrance. Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. And the American soldiers are right there, walking. You see three American soldiers and one, two are walking right there, where I'm walking right now. I'm walking in their footsteps. It's crazy. The final then and now shot that we took here was taken just outside the church gate. It is crazy how similar the sites are today. The trees in the church garden are still standing, and the outer walls are almost untouched. The soldiers are probably on their way to the front. The 2nd Infantry Division resumed their attacks on Hill 192 in July and captured it on the 11th. In the month that they stayed here, the division apparently received more than a thousand casualties deaths and wounded combined. That is around 10% of the total amount of men serving in one division. May we never forget. If you are still watching by now, I hope that you, just like me, learned something about this unknown area close to Omaha Beach. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. If you would like to support the channel even further, you can become an official member for only $5 a month and profit from special perks such as early access to videos. All the money will go towards production costs for future videos. A win-win situation, I would say.